meditation is very, very nice. Very enjoyable for me. On uh, Wednesday, September 16th, uh, is it, uh, almost, at, almost 6 o'clock in the evening. I'm fix my chair a little bit. Getting things framed properly so you're not going off frame is a little difficult. <laughs> this is well framed now, but the thing is, if we move forward, uh, my top, the top of the head moves out of frame. Uh, but sometimes there are uh, hiccups and uh, things don't go exactly as planned. But uh, that's part of the conversation, and uh, we are beginning our conversation for uh, um, uh, September 16th. Even though we are a little late, we are late for the September 16th beginning. Uh, but uh, gaming and mostly meditation uh, has taken place, and so I've got most of the meditation done done that I want. I also edited a vlog and got it up to YouTube. So we're maintaining the schedule of a vlog every single day. Uh, very difficult to do. Uh, I know a number of vloggers are feel very crunched, very stressed by it every once in a while because things don't go exactly as planned and uh, there's a lot of frustration involved particularly if you're doing in you know you're doing the graphics you're doing the editing uh, things come into it it, it, it can take you and it take you uh, for almost a half hour 45 well even a 15 minute video it could take you a half hour doing the editing depending on the type of graphics you put in there depending on the editing you have to do on the graphics and how you want to do the overlay overlays and making sure things uh, are, sit uh, are situated properly because I have both sides I can put things up on there's enough space here I can put things up on and sometimes I want the uh, a, 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 a graphic up here to a sort of like I've got my Christmas tree there my Christmas tree isn't up it's, that's my storage area so if I want to hide the Christmas tree I'd put instead of put my, putting my hand up here I'd put a graphic over it so it hides the Christmas tree that's uh, in storage <laughs> Uh, but, uh, that's, it, it depends on the vlog, it depends on what you want to do, and for me, uh, there's, uh, it, this is not my primary job. I hope to be making money at it someday, but not through monetization. Uh, I'm going to go the PBS route, I'm going to put up a little graphic that says donate here, it gives you, give you a place to donate to, and, uh, go from there. But right now, I'm still at the beginning, I'm still within the, the I'm still within basically, uh, a month of vlogging in terms of what I've put up, uh, so it's been a little over, uh, it's been about a month, a little more, that my vlogging has gone up on a regular basis, so it's going to take me, uh, 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 and I think the graphic, the, the the search engines are just now starting to pick me up, so I'll get more and more traffic as things go along. It really depends on what your expectations are, that really sort of drives the um, uh, the frustration. If you're expecting to buy a new house or a new car out of it, yeah, it's going to be a loss just because it's the ex expectations you place on vlogging that is driving your frustration rather than the realities of vlogging. Uh, vlogging is has become an alternative because a lot of people like reality TV. I think people have chosen what, what you would call the voyeuristic, voyeuristic uh, senses of entertainment rather than simply watching a scripted uh, drama or a scripted show. Uh, so entertainment has kind of shifted from the scripted to the unscripted, or I should say, most reality shows are not necessarily scripted, but they're they're less scripted than they were uh, uh, than your, your your typical show or, or entertainment, which is entirely scripted. Uh, it depends on good actors. If, you know, if an actor is good enough, you don't know it's scripted. You feel like it's natural and part of the uh, 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 natural environment in terms of uh, the social environment. But however, if the actor's not that good, then you begin to realize it's scripted. And this is sort of, I guess, the, the, the art of acting is uh, eliminating the, the perspective that is something is scripted and bring you the sort of the this is the reality this is now your new reality this is it brings you into the fantasy the the 
the concept, the idea, the narrative. However, reality TV doesn't do that. Reality TV is supposed to be, as much as possible, unscripted. And that's where I think a lot of people find that enjoyable, is they want the more unscripted experience than the scripted experience. And that's what you're getting here. You're getting an unscripted experience. Things aren't planned. They're not, they just occur. Even what I say in here changes. I have some idea of what I want to say, but a lot of times it goes off in its own direction. Whether it's fatigue in general or creative fatigue, uh, a number of uh, vloggers uh, this week on my YouTube stroll seem to have been complaining about uh, creative fatigue, and not only in, in, uh, not only creative fatigue, but fatigue in general. Anyways, it is uh, Thursday morning, uh, just about six o'clock in the morning. It's uh, five forty-eight a.m. It's Thursday, September 17th, and we're going to end the vlog uh, for Wednesday. Uh, it seems like, uh, well, this has to do with the gaming schedule and the meditation schedule. The two often go together. And for me, it's not an issue of necessarily creative. It's an issue of, of, of conversation. Uh, and now we are varying up our places a little bit more. Uh, I do have the vlogging while I'm on the scooter. Uh, I only vlog uh, in certain points, not the entire thing. Excuse me. Here we go again as soon as uh, I start talking. There goes the yawning again. Uh, the fatigue is there. <laughs> I'm not arguing the fatigue, the fatigue isn't there. There is a general fatigue that, that, that sort of uh, goes along with the editing, uh, the vlogging, and so on and so forth. But uh, I've incorporated incorporated everything into my daily flow, so it's not necessarily something out of the ordinary that I wouldn't be doing uh, if I weren't vlogging. So this is uh, actually part of uh, of my general flow, and even when I'm fatigued, uh, I'm able to get my rest. I'm able to sort of shift my time around. Uh, what I haven't done, and is what a lot, of, a lot of vloggers do, is they set themselves to a particular schedule where they have to vlog by a certain time, they have to get the vlogs up by a certain time, and so on and so forth. And I find f sticking to a schedule almost impossible to do. Uh, there are so many things that pop up in life and in, in, in general that it really becomes a difficult thing to do, to, 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 to push yourself into a, into a point where that's specifically what you're doing is you're simply vlogging to a particular schedule and I think that's where a lot of the fatigue is because you cannot think necessarily creatively in that in that sort of box and this is where well, I think causes a large chunk of the problem uh, when you're talking about uh, about vlogging fatigue <laughs> I think it's, you know what happens. It's always back to school now, so th there's that issue. Uh, a lot of vloggers, the particularly the younger one, ones, are dealing w uh, with the new workload. Uh, there isn't much class. They're not in class as much anymore. Everything's done online. So guess what's happening? A lot more homework. And it's or it's it, it, in many cases. Uh, I talked about this before about this, the teacher certification. And I certainly will be going into this uh, more. I was supposed to do some some uh, when I was back in the, uh, in, the in the in the uh, media room research in the media room research desk. I should have gone over some stuff, but I will be doing that probably later on tonight. There are certain things that when you feel like things, you do it. And if you don't feel like doing something, you don't do it. That's just, that's, that's just as simple as this. So I was supposed to do something for this vlog. I didn't. It's getting pushed off uh, today. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit of extra in in the vlog. Well, when I start the vlog again in a couple in about a half hour, 45 minutes, when I'm done my uh, uh, gaming and meditation, 
Uh, I will uh, come back. I will start the vlog for Thursday. And in Thursday's vlog, well, you're going to get the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to my parents' house today. You're going to get a vlog on the scooter. So uh, you are going to get an out and about... Uh, out and about uh, uh, um, vlog. And we'll see how that goes. I haven't really seen them yet. I haven't been able to take the footage off the camera. I still have enough, uh, 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 more than enough room on the camera to, the left to go, so uh, it's not necessarily an issue. I checked the battery. The battery seems to be at a good level for the scooter, so uh, I'll go and I'll charge it at my parents' house, and then uh, uh, we'll be end up doing the same thing Saturday, and then Sunday morning as well, because I'll be going over to my parents' house so I can go to church with the, with, with, with my dad in the morning. Uh, so, uh, other than that, I'll be... Uh, uh, today is a short uh, meditation day, uh, but Friday is another long meditation day. So, meditation is part like gaming or even the vlog, vlogging or YouTube stroll is part of my regular life. And it's not it, get, we're talking about. And I'll get into this more as we get into more of the meditation. It's not an issue of whether you're worth it or not. Rather, it, 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 and this is what I talk about more, it's more about perseverance. Per perseverance is the no refunds. It's, I'm going to keep going no matter how, how worth you think I am. Or how worth it I think I am. Matter of fact, it, 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 you put that question out almost entirely and say, well, it doesn't matter how I feel. Whether worth it or not worth it, we need to get the work done and you move forward. 